Hey folks, back again with another rubber chicken video. This may be the only rubber chicken video. I don't know if my T4 was in a rubber chicken sheath when I posted up the video of it a year or two back, but it is now. Today, I'm going to talk about these dudes. The Tops Knives Trackers. This is the T4. It's the smallest one. This is the T3. This is a stainless steel version. And this is the T1 Tracker. And they're all basically the exact same design, just different size. And this one's different material. This dude's quarter inch thick, which is no joke when it comes to a knife. And I've taken black walnuts and soaked these black scales in it. So it's got this kind of sad drab OD color to it but they're pretty cool tools they uh, the saw works good it will destroy a baton though like over time they'll just eat your baton up but this guy's a couple years old I do all kind of abuse with this dude but they are really fun knives and a lot of people get turned off by all the different shapes and this and that and other but um, this is by far the one that I use the most and it's a little bitty dude but I've taken and reprofiled the front of the the blade here and if I ha I've never touched this from the quarter round back I've never touched this up on any of these knives I haven't reprofiled these because these dudes are still really sharp but I never touched this up I'll hit this on the strop just to touch it up from time to time but other than that I've never even really put it on a stone this guy when I reprofiled it I used diamond uh, those easy finishes or whatever the little plastic handled dudes I used it to knock that kind of secondary it would be like where this knuckle is if you look at the blade I knocked that edge off and it just it puts a good or a better cutting edge on it I should say and then what I do is they all come scout carry well, I cut the clips off the sheaths like immediately and I'm going to put some of these guys up just so I don't have a bunch of blades out here. But I carry them in a baldric rig so it would hang. This one's a neck knife and it just hangs around my neck just like that. And it's got a few uh, extra pieces in there. It's got as all... There's a, there's a lighter in there, some fat wood, some waxed um, jute twine, a ferro rod, just some knick-knack things in there. But I've wore this dude to some advanced bushcraft classes and stuff and always get questions. It's just it's just for fun. It's, it's a, a conversation starter anyway. It was actually my kid's idea and now I just rock it because it's awesome. But same deal with these. They carry basically the same way. They hang and they, they all, they'll go across my body this way. So this would go against my body. So when I grab it, I just grab it just like that and pull it out. And it's just, I've wrapped this sheath in leather also. But I just got my cordage attached through the front here. 
and it wraps around it a couple different ways and then comes out here. It's got a Lester River goodie pouch on the front. And this one I have took an old, it's come off some sort of, I don't even don't really know what the box did. It was some military surplus thing. It had a little metal box on it. And this was attached to the box. And I took it off and I have it. I drilled some holes right here on the top of the sheet and I just got three zip ties. And I have this zip tied to it. Dang that leaf. Trying to take me out. And just clipped in the front and it carries the same way. Just like this across. This would go against me. And then it's got a, a pouch here on the front. That I don't have very much in there. Some cordage and some fat wood and some safety pins and stuff like that. Most of the time I got my whole pack with me when I'm out beating around, but this Luster River Bushcraft sheath pouches are pretty sweet too. They um they just kind of hold on with this shock cord, but I always I zip tie mine on there just because I don't want them coming off. But tracker knives. Pretty sweet tools. They uh Are fun. I'd suggest borrowing one. If you got a buddy that's got one, just play with it for a little while. And I don't mean play with it for five minutes and then like all oh, this blows. Just go through some stuff and actually use it. And you'll find that they're they're actually pretty fun. I enjoy them anyway. I know some people just hate them, which is cool too. You don't have to like everything. You probably don't like this rubber chicken either. And that's fine. But, again, Trigger knives. Tops knives made in America. Try them out.